In this video, we're going to create a scan profile that will allow you to scan directly from the scanner touch panel to popular cloud services. In order to do this, you will need a scanner configured via Wi-Fi and a ScanSnap account. We would also recommend checking for the latest version of firmware. If you would like to know how to do either of these, please check the description box below for links to these videos or check the ScanSnap how-to playlist for more. To begin, from the ScanSnap home window, click on the blue scan button. The scan window will appear and I will select to add a new profile. Then from the available templates that are presented to me on the left hand side, I will scroll down and select the option to upload files to a cloud. Now in this example, I'm going to be scanning to Google Drive, so I will change the name of the profile to Google Drive. I am happy with the default settings, but if you want to change anything, you are able to here. Next, I will click to select my cloud service and I'll be presented with the options available. From here is where I will select Google Drive. Selecting Google Drive will open a tab on a web browser and ask me to choose my Google account. Please follow the instructions on screen in order to verify your account. Once secure verification process is complete, I simply need to allow the connection from ScanSnap Cloud to my Google account. Once the authentication has succeeded, I will allow this and then I will come back to the ScanSnap home profile window. Where I can see that my Google Drive Save To folder is a newly created ScanSnap folder. If you want to choose a different Google Drive folder, click on Browse and you will be presented with all of your folders in Google Drive. Select OK and click on Add to create the profile. The profile will now appear in ScanSnap Home and on the touch screen of the scanner. As this profile allows me to scan directly to Google Drive from the scanner's touch panel, I need to use the profile on the scanner and there is a notification in ScanSnap Home informing me of this. My document is already preloaded into my scanner's paper shoot and I am going to press the blue scan button on the device. Once the scanning process is complete, I will check my Google Drive folder and I can see that it has been uploaded successfully. And here I have my scan document. Thank you for watching how to scan to cloud services using ScanSnap Cloud for touch panel models. See you on the next one.